le sang de cette façon. So we are reading the Ezekiel chapter 3, the verse 18. Every disobedient half a punishment, isn't it? So we asked the questions yesterday. So there's one brother here. It's yesterday he said God asked him to talk to a woman, but he was not bold to speak the truth. But finally, she, he realized that the mother came to abort a child. The woman is not dead, but the blood of that child is on him. It's not only on the person that aborted the child, but it's also on the person that received the message to go and warn the woman about the abortion. Et le sang de cette façon est celui-là. Ce hier, on a plaidé, prié, demandé pardon à l'Esprit. À toi qui es ici, le sang de qui est sur toi. So we know that is here. Which blood is upon you? So Christian life is very serious. So men can go to hell without smoke, without smoking or steel. We have our sister also that God told her to speak to a mother. The, the person was in holiness, but the person was like. It's not wearing the makeup and this. The person even have a, a shop now. The law told her to warn the mother, but she was not bold enough to tell the truth. So I told her that if the mother opened the saloon, every sin that that mother is committing, this sister is also guilty of that thing. Because the Bible said, the Lord said, I will ask the blood of these people in your hands. That's why evangelism is to save yourself from the blood of people is to separate yourself from the general sin of the people who surround you. Pastor, 
here every day with us. If our father couldn't teach us the truth, God will ask our blood in his hands. So now is the opposite. God can now ask him his blood on the hands of the church because our father has done his part, all his sacrifice the need of money, the sacrifice you are not with your family, mosquitoes, everything that is in Bene here, every sacrifice that we they are doing here. One day they serve our father food and he says he's tired because the taste of that food, we eat that the same food to the point that we are tired of that ticket. So every sacrifice, if what we are teaching you, you play with it, God will ask you, I'll ask you this question. So, so truly we are seeing that we cannot play with the law. Christian life is not something that we should play with. We are here, everyone that is sitting here, the judgment waiting for us. Everybody, pastor, the pastor wife, brother, the sister, Everybody, who can speak more than uh, two languages here? You can speak French, you can speak English, you can speak at least two languages. If you can speak more than two languages, just get up. Standing here it means that people can speak more than two languages. So there's one guy say. So there's one guy here. So the guy say he speak Yoruba in a French and for even English. So the sister says she can speak the French, the for the language here. Uh, the sister says she can speak French, English, uh, and Arab also. Mm. Yeah. Today, not today. Pastor Nicolas, 
say you can speak at least three languages the French English their language at uh, almost four Amen. so this brother they say you can speak French and English more they can speak like five languages uh, people here. Yeah. speak French, English, the Ewe, and the Congolese language, Lingala. Good morning, Anglais. Bonjour, Marcel. How are you doing? Au foie, Ewe. Au foie, Mina. Tu es ici. Amen. speak French, English, Arab, and their normal local languages also. So they say, oh, Abibi no, is okay. my love. Yeah. That's it. I love you. Mm. Ah. Mm. <laughs> okay, on my way. Hmm. Hey, <laughs> so This class. <laughs> Say she can speak the French, the English, and their language here for the The sister says she can speak the ouais. French, ouais. the phone, and the. And Yoruba also. Ouais. 
Tu n'es pas mon professeur, père. You can speak four, four languages, the French, the four, and there's a language also in Côte d'Ivoire. You can speak also. So she should say something in that language now. We should hear. I said, uh, if you want to say, come, I said, dia. Okay, so you say, chamba, balaka, français, français, eve. in it. God will judge you. Every language that you know, you can speak, but you didn't preach in it. But you are just there. The Lord will judge you for it. To whom much is given, much is required. You speak Yoruba and you didn't preach in it. You have problem. May the Lord have mercy. There's a lot of judgment that is waiting for us. But I believe we will repent and the mercy of the Lord will come through for us. Luke 12, the verse 48. I 
I told you that you know if you are reading the scriptures, the Bible, be patient. One of the laws of the revelations is to be patient with the scriptures so that you can see what is there. Now, chicken, they can cover their eggs in 21 days before they give birth. So you must cover the eggs for 21 days. Is her presence on the eggs that affected the eggs to have the babies in the eggs? Let's be patient with the scriptures. Let's meditate the scriptures. Let's think a lot. You meditate on what you are reading. You put it in action like you are. It's your life. At the time you can be reading your Bible and you begin to laugh yourself. At the time you are reading your Bible and you are surprised, like you wanted to cry. And at the time also, you are reading your Bible, you just see something and you will shout. That, ah, this thing also, is in the Bible? Yes. It means that you understood something. So let's be patient with the scriptures. The scriptures is like orange. We don't eat orange. We, there's a way you do it. You must be with the scriptures for you to know or to understand things there. There are things to do. You take the word of God. You want to understand. You read. You read it again. And you imagine. You meditate on that scripture. So there's a food here called adore. It's like beans. So you must push that beans into the in the water. You leave it there. It's like you forget the beans. And it will be there long. And you come and remove the beans. And you throw the water away. Now, 
So for you to have that proper food, there are things to do. It's the same thing with the word of God. The scriptures that people used to preach at time is John 3 16. So you see people do just be quoting that scripture. When you are reading that scripture, it's not anything. But when you do well, you be patient with that scripture. You you see something beyond that thing that is the, that is written there. You see something beyond it. So go, God so love the world. So you think say God so love the world. So when you want to meditate on that scripture, you begin to think God so love, so love. You think so love, you meditate on that so love. If you do well, you meditate on that way. If you don't know that, that thing can open another window that can help you to understand certain things in the Bible. You want to know another meaning of that way. So that thing will leave you to the point that you can understand how God loved the world with a great passion. The Bible says to be a friend with the world is to be enemy of God. So the Bible said, do not love the things of the world. So now God himself is saying that God so loved the world. When you are talking about the world, the Bible didn't say that God loved the church, but the Bible said God loved the world. God so loved the world. The Bible didn't say that God so loved the church. Are we together? Jesus didn't die for the church. He died for the world. Let your life clap to the Lord. What will make you win souls is this. The Bible didn't say that God loved the church. Jesus didn't die for the church. He died for the world. We are we are in classroom, so if you don't understand, you can ask the question. There was no church before Jesus went to the cross. Jesus died. He died for everybody.
So excuse, there's one lady here, it's worrying pastor. Be careful of Christians who sleep at the church. When we were child, they say if you sleep in the church, it means that the demons they are playing on you, on your head. So if you sleep in the church, you see people they will knock your head. One day I went to an all night. I was tired. And I take the car. And I was sleeping in the car. So I forget myself. So there's one man that loves sleep in the church. He always sleeps in the church. So there's a pastor that came to the church. So the brother or that man was sleeping in the church also. So the pastor said, if you are a witch in the church, stand up. Since the brother, he loves sleeping, he didn't hear the thing, if you are a wizard. Since he heard her stand up, the guy just stand on his feet. So the people that sleep in the church, one day you, you cause yourself a problem. Since he was sleeping, people that slept in the church is the end of the words that they hear, not the beginning of the word. That's why when you wake them up, they will just be doing like they are praying, but they were not praying. There was a mother that go to hell. Why she went to hell? She went to hell. She, why? Because she was sleeping in the church and they wake her up and she said no, that she was not sleeping. So she lied in the church and said, I, I was not sleeping. She didn't know that after that, the service, she would die. When she died, she went to hell directly because she lied. Sleeping or to sleep in the church is not a good thing. At time when you sleep in the church, you change your place because we came with the church. We we came to the church with a certain energy. So you check yourself that ah, these two days I'm coming to the church where I used to sit, if I see that I'm not getting the message, you better attend your place so that you can be free in the church. There's a witchcraft seat in the church. Yes, it's true. There's a man. His church people started dying for sickness. So in his church, there was uh, bankers, doctors in the church. So one day he did the program, and he finished. He said, if you are which year, come out. He said he was shocked. 
he was thinking that the people that sell the ch charcoal seller they will, is them that will come out but he was shocked that the doctors people with intellect they are the people that come out listen to me anytime that the children of god are gather the devil also find his way to be among them remember the bible said the children of god are gather and the devil came and god asked him what are you doing here say lord jesus i invoke the blood of jesus over myself and over my heart i accept your word this evening for my life in jesus name so do not rush when you are reading the scriptures take your time to read it God so loved the world God is also another thing and so love the world the world since the Bible says he so loved the world he give you must check and meditate he give what he give his only begotten son so what he give that thing truly explain so love this sinful word if the law love this word like that that you that is child of god do you know that god love us Yeah, if God loved me, why I can't pay my school fees? When they were baptizing Jesus, the Bible said heaven were open and the Lord spoke. He said, This is my son to whom I'm well pleased. Even though the Bible said that God so loved Jesus, He went to the cross. Are we together? To have a, a blue bag and a scarf that is blue, it doesn't mean that this is the Christian life. Oh, you are special in the Christian life, no? So they are saying that the president here is a rich man. Why? Because he has money before he become president. This president, he can break the house, houses on the roadside. If you want to do the road now, don't come and break your house. They will not even ask you permission. The law is faithful. Now, let's go back to the scripture. Mm -hmm. 
So next week, by the grace of God, we will prophesy. Many people here, you don't need deliverance again. This word of God has set you free. It's now you to hold the demons in the life of people. So what is here is your future, the call of God over your life and your destiny. Even if we didn't declare, it means that you are special. When you went to the hospital, there's something called scam. So they will scan you. And they will see what is happening to you. When you went to the hospital, you cannot have a desire that when they scan through you, they should see some sickness to you. But when you came to the church, you when you came to see a prophet, you are there. Up. They are speaking on people. They are talking, revealing things for people. But me, I'm here, and there's nothing on me. So do you want the prophet of God to lie on you that you have coronavirus? No. So why do you worry the men of God to see things for you? Now, the prophet is not God. You see the way we are here? Who have a call of God over your life here, you know that God has truly called you. For example, this mother now, she's a mother. There are some people who are she, she has influence on them, she pray with them. If she did something that is not godly, God will God will not leave her to, and God will be talking to me because I'm a prophet. No. So I, decision, I will teach you everything that is in the Christian life. I will give you all the secrets. Now it's your choice. Said this man of God, I respect him, I honor him. Are we together? La vérité en Jésus. Nous pouvons dire que nous sommes en train de faire des choses de nous. Et ce que nous avons fait, exemple, maman. Si maman a fait une erreur, nous avons fait une erreur. Pas même maman. Et très nous tous. Il n'a même pas dit. Il s'est donné. Il ne s'est pas dit. Il ne s'est pas dit. Il ne s'est pas dit. Il va d'abord ouvrir la porte. 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 Il va d'abord ouvrir la porte.
Éloignons. This thing is not good. Can you back to you? When the Lord will talk to you, if you are still in need, he can decide to show a brother or a sister. Hey. You see that people can begin to have dreams on you. God will not talk to people without talking to you. Listen to me carefully. What's the place of the prophet? What God told you, you don't want to obey people around you. You say, sister, you have this character. This brother, you have this character. The prophet, now God will use him as a hammer on you. Say, brother, stand up. The brothers who are there, they are witness of that thing. One day here, there's a brother. When we were doing the program, our father picked him up. But people know. That life before our father, our father didn't know him. Our father didn't know him. Our father didn't know that he was Papa John Migan. That invited the brother, but the brother was having a problem of women. So before the congregation, our father called him. The problem is women. Because after that prophecy, I had the answer. There's a brother who stood that prophecy that the brother said, I was told the prophet. Now, why people are talking? Because people know his life. People admonish him, but he don't want to hear. But now somebody came to the father before the congregation. And now the person pick you up and prophesy. Our father's women is the women that is your problem. You must go and ask for forgiveness. That thing is not to uh, disgrace him, but just to tell him that that level is too much. Reach that level, God will strike that person. God will not punish you if your sin didn't fall up the cup. Or the cup is not full. So you cannot say if it's the prophet, he must see it. What Elijah said. Elisha said that uh, why God didn't reveal this thing to me. Why do we have the Holy Spirit in us? Is to convince us from your sin. So your character that is hidden in you the spirit of God will be touching you, the brother, sister. So, if you are not hearing, then somebody that didn't know you, the person who had a dream and said, Brother, I had this dream, I had this dream. At times, when you give the dream to the person, the person will just be looking at you, watching you like movie. You have to know that that thing, the person is concerned. When you give people dreams, what they are face is like the cut on you before them. May the Lord help us. What is lie? Lie is something that is untruth. 
Lie is when the thing that is in your heart is different from what you are saying. Every liar have the truth in their heart. <laughs> So lie is when what you are saying with your mouth is different from what is in your heart. So it's not everything that the Lord will reveal to a prophet. For the prophecy is to edify the body of Christ. Prophecy correct, elite. But the greatest work of the prophecy is not your sin. But since people didn't want to repent, a true prophet cannot bless you if it didn't correct the problem of sin that you have are we together a true prophet if truly God is using him if you are in a sin that will destroy you his prophesy his prophecy will be Conditional. If you obey my words, you eat the fruit of the land. For example, John 14, the verse 1. John chapter 14, the verse 1. So, the English uh, that where I am, there ye may be also. John chapter 14, the verse 3. He said, Where I am. So the English say, Ye, maybe also. It means you are safe. And you will be safe also. Mm -hmm. 
when you receive Jesus is the salvation of your spirit. But when you are on the earth, you are in the you must fight for your souls also to be saved. Like it's like you went to the restaurant, you command the food. You can even scent, smell the scent of the food. But you must be patient so that they serve you the food. So yes, you are in that battle. The last thing that will be safe of you is your body. There's a salvation of your spirit, salvation of your soul, and the salvation of your body. First Corinthians chapter 15, the Bible says it will give us an immortal body. So the prophet is not God. There are things that God can say. But if God didn't say, why? Because the prophet have the spirit of God and you, the member also, you have the Spirit of God in you. The Spirit of God is already your policeman that is around you. Now, on the time of the, the apostles in the Old Testament, the prophet were used to a certain manner. And these people also, he was there. Holy Spirit that came on them, use them, finish, and they will leave them. Now, we are under the grace. So the brother say, when the Bible say the veil has been uh, separated in the tabernacle, is when, because before, for you to get to God, you must pass to the prophet and the high priest. But now, you can go to God directly. So now that the veil has been separated, we can have access to God directly. When we are talking about the veil that has been separated, the Bible said that the Old Testament is the shadow of the things to come.
The veil was tear from up to down. So fa our father is giving homework. So you go and you search for it. You know the enlargement of the veil. You go and search for it. If you can get it so that Monday you can know it. You know the enlargement of the thing, the level from up to down. If the thing, if the veil destroy from down to up, they can say that is man that did it, but it it tear from up to down. So the veil was very high that to the point that when you stand on the floor, you cannot tear it from up to down. You cannot tear it from up to down. But the Bible didn't say that if tear from down to up, it tear from up to down. So let's say the two of them, they are the veil. So it's here from up to down. Normally, there's a high priest that enter the holy of the holy place. In the holy of the holy place, the veil. Where is the place? of the veil in the holy of the holy place. We are singing that everything is finished. That the word of God is truth and is amen. People love dancing to Jesus, but the scriptures they didn't know the scriptures. So the primitive church, these were the songs that they were singing, that everything has been done at the cross. The veil has been tear or separated. Everything has been accomplished. So victory. Lord, your word is truth. It's amen. Your word is truth and amen. So the word of God is truth. Everything has been accomplished at the cross. The veil has been teared out, separated. 
So Lord, your word is truth. So the brother said the veil is before the high priest. The veil is between the, the holy place and the holy of holy place. So the veil separates the holy and the holy of holy place. So we can say that the front of the two guys is the holy place but the back they are back is the holy, holy place when Jesus shout at the cross he shouts at the cross that it is finished when he said it the veil has been separated. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? When the veil was tear, what happened? <laughs> 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 
When Jesus cried or shout at the cross, the Bible says it is finished. The veil, the veil was teared down. That now everybody can go to God. What fear is there when Jesus was at the cross? When he was at the cross, when Jesus was at the cross, God was there. God was there. He was behind the things when Jesus shouted that it is finished. Then God came out. God was impatient to come out before with the sacrifice of the animals. God didn't have any time for the men. Now, with the sacrifice of Jesus, the Lamb, God said, I didn't have time for men to come and remove this veil. Myself, let me tear it down. Wait. Revelation chapter 3. The verse 20. He said about the door, I'm not before with the sacrifice of the animals, men came to knock the door. He said, God, where are you? Forgive our sins. Now with the sacrifice of Jesus, it's this is God that comes out. God that is looking for men now. The greatest evangelist is God Himself. Amen. You understood the thing now. So, are you understand? Can you tell me what I just said? In the Old Testament, the people coming to God with a sacrifice because of the sin. And God, because of their sins, he was behind them. But with the sacrifice of the animal, when Jesus said everything has been accomplished, God was in the hurry to meet the man, and because of that, he seared the veil and come out himself to search for the man. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, as the word she understood it in the Old Testament, the sin of man was very plenty to the point that God was hiding himself behind the veil. So, the one day every day with the blood of the animals for mercy. But when Jesus was at the cross, when he said that everything was accomplished, God was in the hurry. He was not even waiting for anybody to come and remove the veil. But he himself, he teared the veil so that he can save the man on earth. Listen to me. The Bible says God is not blind. It's not. God is not blind. It's possible he can do everything. But it's our sin that is stopping God. This in our life. So God has created the man in the garden. The Bible said in the garden in the evening, he always came to visit Adam. But when Adam sinned, he came out of the garden. He didn't lost the garden alone. But by the name of that garden, what? Eden. Eden means the presence of God. The sin maker lost his presence. So man lost the presence of God. If you lost his presence, you lost his presence. Since the garden, God was hiding behind the veil. The bridge that is between God and the humanity was break down. So Jesus is the last hands of God to the humanity. So please watch this thing very when Adam commit the sin, God sent men to get back the men. Men said no. The hands of God was lifted like that. God used Abraham, but he couldn't. God called Moses. He sent Moses, but he couldn't. But Joshua also, he couldn't. David, they couldn't. All the old men, all of them that God have sent to come and save men from their sin, they themselves, they were also sinners. So, it can't be possible. Even Samson, when they saw the Philistine women, they defiled himself. 
David a un cœur selon le cœur de Dieu. David a un cœur de Dieu. David a un de Dieu. David a un David Jesus is the final range of the Lord that is towards the humanity. So now Jesus comes to humanity. That's why when you miss this hinge, you fall into the hole. There's the hold behind. When humanity said no, the anger of God he deep a big hole. When he was Isaiah, the Bible said he enlarged himself. That was light even to the end, even to the end. The Bible says men will live on the earth. Today there's hell on the earth. Worldly music, nightclub, the wickedness on the earth. We know that there's hell on the earth. You see women in their pants. You see women without pressure and they are not ashamed. Hell is on the earth. So now, Jesus is the bridge that has saved the man. The bridge that can make you cross the hell to enter heaven. So Jesus came. And he saw his hand. He said, if you miss my hand behind me, there's a hole to fall in That is why we will not be lazy in evangelism. Not to be lazy alone. But your money must support this work. Your strength, your family, your presence. Now, it's God now with the sacrifice of Jesus. Everything has been accomplished. It is finished, is the signal, is the sign between Christ and God. Do you know that Jesus didn't come to deliver you from the hands of the devil? Pastor, what are you saying? You are just here to trouble our mind. He came to deliver us from the anger of his father. You, you are just in class one. You are afraid of the devil. The Bible says you have all sinned and you have fallen short of the glory of God. If we are cut short from the glory of God, we are dashed into the judgment of God. That's why when you read the Bible, the cross is not the sin, not the devil. Travel. 
The Bible said that sin will not have dominion over you. I told you yesterday that the devil himself he was corrupt by the sin. If Jesus had destroyed the devil, why the devil is still on the earth? The time that they will destroy the devil is there. That's why, listen to me. Jesus said, The prince of this world came to me, but I didn't find anything in me. What was it? He was talking of the devil. So now, you say that it's easy to understand. Pastor, if you are saying that Jesus didn't deliver us from the devil, why the devil is still on the earth? The devil, God comes of everything is not the devil, but it's the sin. So when the prince of the world came, he was certain if what I can find sin in the heart of Jesus, but there was nothing in him. So, There's a fish in Ghana called Momoni. The Ivorians call it a Jova. If you want to buy this fish, and the flies, the king. If you want to eat these things, the flies, you must. You must remove the fish that is smelly. So when Jesus came, we sin in the garden, in the garden, in the garden, the devil has the passes, but he only have access to the life of men. But now, he must seduce the, weak, the woman to have the man. But he must take an animal. That in his nature, and that animal is wise. And the serpent in the beginning was not working on his belly. It was an animal that had four legs. So the devil, he takes advantage over that animal. He takes one side of him to talk to the woman so that he can lead the woman to sin. In the garden, Everything was love. Against one, you can eat everything. 
de la vie était dans le jardin. Even the tree of life was in the garden. But the devil said, he has seduced the seul arbre. The woman or the man to go and eat that fruit. Among all the fruit that is in the garden. So people think that because you don't have that's why you stole. They have everything. It's like today. It's difficult for you to pay the tithe. And there are today there are preachers who are not from God that came with a certain doctrine that tithe is no more. That we should not pay tight anymore. Tight didn't start from Moses. It was Abraham that started paying the tight. Abraham was not under the law. The Bible says the law came through Moses. The first person that paid the tight it was Abraham. So when people say it's the Old Testament, Old Testament. If you are here, you are not paying your tithe, go and pay it. One day I will teach you on tithe. The first time that the tithe has been paid, it was it was Meshisedek that came to Abraham after victory why Abraham paid the tithe because Meshisedek gave him wine and the bread the wine is the spirit and the bread is the word. And he said, Abraham, Abraham, you are blessed by God. So Abraham make a choice to pay the tithe. Even in the garden, among the trees, there was one that you must not touch. So you that is saying that Christian life is not, it's not like this, it's not like that. Even in the garden, there was a law. But since the women, they are very they have a certain character. If you like, leave the women, they will eat your money, all of your money in your pocket. So, <laughs> So the devil didn't have any choice. He must push a man to sin. When you sin, you know what is against you. It's not the devil, but it's God himself. So the devil knows that me and you, the devil didn't have authority over us, but the devil won a problem between us and God. The only thing the devil can do is to seduce us, to deceive us so that we can fall into sin, so that the so that law can separate himself from us. 
For example, me that is your pastor, and the devil wants you, and I'm interceding for you. For the devil to have you, he must use you against me, and I will get angry. If I get angry, if I pray self, that thing will not work. That's what the Bible says. Struck the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. That's why the Bible says, Obey your parent. Ephesians chapter 6, the verse 1. Ephesians chapter 6, the verse 1 to 3. When somebody or we say someone is your father, it means that somebody, that person is your source, he have authority over you. The rivers, all of them, they are some they are from somewhere and they are going into the sea. Cascade. Now the water that always come out of the stone. So your father is your source. All of us that is here, we have the things of our parent, our parent in us. If they take your blood now, they will see your father in that blood. Today they, they, can, they can catch women that take another man, children, and give to another man. You can catch them easily. Easily. It means that you are coming from somewhere. Now their work is to keep you. That's why everybody that is here, you are a child. Or you have a child. Before your child must have a pastor, you yourself, you must be the pastor over that child. You must tell them every truth. You must love them. You lead them. And you correct them. So he said, if you don't honor your father and your mother, your life will be short. Why? Because you'll be exposed. Listen. Your mother or your father, they can save your life. When we were child, if we have issues with, with people and that thing will destroy our life, your father or your mother, 
is today that women or mothers are destroying, they are spoiling the children. Before the person that you steal, your mother will carry you to the person. Now, your mother, before the person, your mother will beat you. So that is removing you out of the belly of that person. So if the person send things on you, that thing can never work again. Because the punishment of that thing, your mother have done it before the person. It means that I punish my child before you. That thing will kill every hour that will stand against you. Not to obey the parent is a dangerous thing. But the parent that want to lead you to the devil, I have a scripture for you also. Act chapter 5, the verse 29. Act chapter 5, the verse 29. Act chapter 5, the verse 29. Better to obey God than to obey men. So the parent, the old parent, not to the parent, the be their children. Children, at times the children have right, but since the parent know that that person is a wicked person, they will take you there and beat you before the person, so that they can save you. It's not like our parents, they were fools. But this is their strategy because they didn't know Christ. This is their strat strategy to stop the evil things on you. One day, a sister took a medicine and she died. They called me. I was in the car with the mother. So in the car, the sister will be shouting, I will die, I will die, I will die, I will die, I will die. And the mother will be beating. The sister take the medicine. She want to kill herself. But when they were in the car, the mother said, no, you will not die. And the mother was beating her. Do you know that she took the medicine, but she didn't die? Because the parent, they have the strategy. The people that insult their parent, you insult your parent that you are not anything, you insult them. There are some people here. When you leave here tomorrow or this evening or Sunday, you see your parent, your father, your mother, say, please. They will ask you. And you tell them that anything I have done and you spoke. Especially the mothers who don't talk, they are more dangerous. They are more dangerous.
Did you come back? Did you come back? Did you come back? Especially when your mother say, ah, you two, you are, you are a lady or you are a woman, you are coming. But that one is, is more than curse. Or you make your mother cry. Go and cook spaghetti for her. If they have right, you are in problem. Always tell people, if your father slapped you, do you know what to do? Run. Do not be there and say you are going to fight with your mother. You are a fool. Look your mother like she's not a, she's a mad person. And run, and run away. Obey your parents so that you have a long life. It's a commandment with a promise. Now, the Bible says give double honor to your pastors, your teachers. If with your biologic parent, and it's my dad, what about your spiritual father? The Bible said the people that teach give them double honor. There are the people who are in truth. You give them double honor. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 17. First Timothy chapter 5, the verse 17. Let the others that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. So if one honor to your parent, that honor can cost your life. What about we, the people that is leading well? Do you know what deliver is teaching? A true pastor will not teach you to stand against your parent. And he will not leave the parent also to send you into hellfire. That is why we can't do everything if your parent refuses your marriage. I can't celebrate your marriage if your mother and your father say no because it's the parent that received the bride price So 
So the brother is saying that uh, what's the difference between obey the parent and honor the parent? And you want to know if your father sends you to go and buy alcohol, but you know that alcohol is not a good thing. What do you do? So what your parents say, if that thing is against the word of God, there's a way you deal with it also. There's something called the loyalty. Loyalty have many levels. For example, we are here, apart from Jesus, is our father, that is the head here, apart from Jesus. For example, a church that the pastor, that the elder pastor, apart from Jesus, the head pastor is there. If the pastor did not want to do the will of God, or is leading people against God, your loyalty must lead him, you must stop being, you must stop following him and stand for Christ. That when the pastor is leading the church against God, you must stop following him and follow Jesus. So, for example, if a pastor that the law placed upon the church and that pastor leave the church, then that pastor leave the church. For example, Pastor Gwe, he leave the church and he said, I'm going to start my own ministry. It doesn't mean that the church members also follow him. When you follow him, you are in error, except the church himself is no more in the truth. So our parent, they are, they have authority over us, but there's also a higher authority. If the minor authority will lead you to sin against the major authority, you must be careful. You rejected the minor authority and obey the higher authority, the highest authority. The parent, they don't have this total authority over you. Your parents are saying that go and marry a man that is already married. The word of God is against that. You will not obey that thing. This is where Act chapter 5, verse 29 was spoke. So it's good to obey God and man. My obedience go towards God. Even with the parent, you are sister in the church, and the pastor say, I see a demon in you to deliver you. I must sleep with you. You are just there like a chicken that falls into water. For your pastor to sleep with you, no. You respect your pastors until the sin against you. The sin. And the sleep with you. The church is not the hotel. Since he's a man of God, man of God, because of the man of God, that you must run.
since you don't have chat, my pastor say I will sleep with you and you have uh, babies. That pastor have anointing. It's foolishness. We obey God, not men. We refuse to obey men. You are there. Your pastor is calling you with a certain name. My lover, me I'm married to call you my church member, my lover. Even my wife, I don't call her like that. But I love, I love her. The rest is movie. We are playing. There are some people that call themselves. If you heard the name self, you'll be shocked. But there's no law of the so our father is asking the ladies when if they marry how they will call their husband Hmm. the Lord have mercy on us. That's the sister has it. I'll call my my husband my destiny. When, when, when your husband become your destiny, will you? In your destiny, you have car. Will you use him to go? Hmm. Patrick, H1, to 
Akamoni say, Pastor, I put a 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 Especially the sisters. Yes, ma, my, my lover. If you are here and your pastor say you are very sexy, what he want to say is you are good for sex. I'm telling you the truth. There's a demon in hellfire that they call sexy. The Bible talk about modesty. Women must be virtuous. The pastor said that you are very sexy. It's not nice. So you to stop wearing the mini skirt. So if you don't obey your parent, it can cost your life. The Hebrews, if you don't obey your parents, they will come and kill you. the grace of God. God is now winning souls. God that was behind the veil is now asked to deliver you from your sin. And if you don't have sin in you, the devil cannot touch you. Let the Lord bless us.
Abigail, vous m'appelez Kenneth. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, we are going to do evangelism. The brother say have two questions. From the 
So our father said every Christian must read his Bible. He said our mother, our father said this is there. He read the Bible one, two to the now is nine. This is the ninth time he's reading this Bible. Every Christian must read this Bible. So the person must be led by the Holy Spirit. You have to know that it is the spirit that gives life, it's not the scriptures alone. So you need something. The person that is asking and the Holy Spirit will help you to understand what you read. You see, for everything that we are doing, when you carry the Bible, it should be easy for you to understand the Bible. It will give you another understanding. For you, but at time it's not sweet. At time you understood the thing, but at time you don't, the thing is long for you, you don't understand. At time the names they are the same, you are mixed up there. Oui. Oh. At time you are, you want to jump the names. The Holy Spirit will say no. So the Holy Spirit must let the person so that the person can understand the Bible. But when we know the challenges of the person, we can teach the person that read the Bible read here and leave the other side. Donc, 
et partout où je passe, j'ai l'habitude de prêcher devant Dieu. Aujourd'hui, j'ai pris ma marchandise, je voulais vendre. Et en vendant, je prêchais à mon père. So our father teaches us that we should win souls. So today I was I wanted to sell and when I carried the thing to sell, I was preaching. So and I came close to a brother's the brother said it's not what you are selling that you want to buy, but it's yourself. You place us. So I began to preach the gospel to them. And I said, the Lord Jesus loves you. Repent from your wicked ways. So they said that what you are selling, you sell the thing, but you become our house, our house girl. You'll be cooking for us. So the boys, they asked me to cook the food. I said, no, I can't cook the food for them. That the word of God didn't say that. So the boys, they are saying that, ah, that your pastor is not teaching you, you very well that. When you win soul, it's what the soul desire that you do. I said, no, this is not what the Bible says. So I tell them that the life you are living is not a good life. Even if they are the good people, I can't accept it. So, our father said, in that uh, the question is that case, what will you do? Will you how to do and win these souls? And our father said, you know, lost your souls to say you are winning another one souls. If you don't know, they will just impregnate you. Let the Lord bless us. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for the teaching. You are praying. You are saying, Lord, help me to put into practice these teachings. Help me to bear the fruit of your word. Pray in the name of Jesus. That may the Lord help you and I to bear the fruit of the teachings. May the Lord help us to bear the fruit of the word. And may the Lord give you grace to know the word of God. When men finish school here, 
They give them tools. The Lord will establish us personally. You will be shocked, surprised of what the Lord will do with you. You will not make error with the scriptures again. Bless the Lord for that, for that thing now. in your life. So our uh, father said we should pray for him because when we were singing, he saw a lot of people that have arrows that stand against him. The Bible says every weapon formed against you shall prosper. Let it come out of your heart. You are praying for a father, and this is true because. Even in the open prayer, when our brother Kenneth was leading prayer, he had a vision and he said that they were planning things against our father, including me, myself. My dream yesterday, I see things who are not good. So please, 
as he's saying now, the thing is serious. We are praying that any plan of darkness on him, may the blood of the Lamb destroy in the name of Jesus. Le Seigneur, 
pour donc tout ce qui est sa volonté. Qui est dans mon cœur, qui est dans mon cœur. Tout ce qui a suivi votre main, qui fait que c'est difficile à attraper, que le sang de Dieu vous lave. Jésus vous lave. Je prie que la pluie qui vient d'en haut, qui vient de Dieu, tombe sur votre vie. Que toute sécheresse s'arrête au nom de Jésus. Il a quelqu'un ici, ça fait longtemps. Déjà, dans 72 heures, il a un changement. 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 Et quand tu es ici, tu as visé quelque chose à acheter. Tu fais le fort de l'acheter, mais ton argent n'arrive pas. Et tu utilises l'argent pour autre chose. Le Seigneur va t'acheter cette chose-là. Reçois le nom de Jésus. Reçois le nom de Jésus. Reçois le nom de Jésus. Et la question est si tu as souvent cette douleur, je ne sais pas où dans mon corps, elle met devant la puissance du Saint-Esprit de Dieu. La puissance du Saint-Esprit de Dieu. Ok, il a quelqu'un, si je ne sais pas, un frère, un quelqu'un qui a perdu, vous avez perdu de contact, ça fait longtemps. Je vois la personne qui vient à la maison. La personne revient. 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 Les larmes sont séchées. Tu as beaucoup pleuré. Maintenant, le Seigneur te donne la joie. Le Seigneur te donne la joie. Vous savez la joie de l'éternel. The Lord, the Lord restore his joy in your heart. Somebody you are here. The Lord promised you a house. The Lord said he didn't forget you. That his promise will be established, will come to pass in this year. He didn't forget you. He didn't forget you. There's someone here. I see. Somebody, that's that you are in a relationship, and that person, I see the Lord, the Lord will open door, that person will have confidence in you, and he will bless you with the money. In the name of Jesus, the Lord wants the integrity, he wants the integrity. There's a, a situation of fire that is around certain people. But I heard a voice of God that said, Peace, 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 peace. There's someone here. Someone is pulling something with you. Wow. Come on a since the, like the way the, the, the parent of Jesus, he said, go back to Bethlehem, that the people that want to kill the child, the person decided to do you evil by his life. You pay for it in Jesus' name. And this science is so that you can serve the Lord well, so that you can have that total confidence in God. You can have that total confidence in God. You can have that total confidence to God. You can have that total confidence. There's somebody here that they put, they put things on you. You carry things. You are praying in the secret. There's an invitation of witchcraft that is looking for you, but I invoke the blood of Jesus. The blood speak for you. May the blood speak for you. May the blood speak for you. May the blood speak for you. In Jesus' name. Wow. Merci, Seigneur. Il a l'ange protecteur de Dieu. 
There's the angel of the Lord that is around us. The Lord says, Live the truth and practice the truth. That His security is assured. Okay, his security is assured. May the blood of Jesus preserve us. May the blood protect us. Finally, we are praying for the program tomorrow. That may the blood of Jesus be with us. May the Lord give us favor in the name of Jesus. Le braco va la casse de le brende de le ketoskiata. Tomorrow, two o'clock, we are at the beach, a revival. We are there for evangelism. We are going to do evangelism. The Lord bless us. Stand, uh, stand up in your feet. Let us pray the last prayer. Let us, let us do this last prayer. Quick. Mandela, Mandela bless us. Clap your hand for the Lord, please. Tomorrow we will go to the beach for the evangelism. For the evangelism. Please, tomorrow, if you are not doing something, if you are not busy, please, I will want I want to tell you to come, but if you can, if you can just try a little, I mean, I want you to do your best, die your little, come to the beach, let us preach over there. Put your hands up, let us pray. Father, we bless your name. Father, we bless your name for the favor. We bless your name for what you did. We bless your name for your presence that was here. Father, we thank you for every, every deliverance. Holy Spirit, we say thank you for the knowledge. Father, we pray we go, we put our going back in your hands. We pray may your blood bring us home. Father, may your angel be in front of us. Father, we pray we put your servant, our daddy, in your hands. May your hand 
powerfully be upon his life. We, we pray any fear, anything that people plant in against his life shall be cast in it in the name of Jesus. They will eat their own flesh, they will drink their own blood. Father, we pray. We put our death in Papa John Miguel in your hands. May any arrow, may any enemy arrow that they throw against him shall be cast in the name of Jesus. I put myself in the blood of Jesus and I declare that the church is protected. I declare that the members of our family are protected. Your going back home is protected. Accident will not be your portion. I bless this week for you. Your week, your weekend, your week is blessed. Our dad he declared that in, in uh, seven two hours. I know that daddy don't used to say things because he want to say it, but daddy used to say things that the Lord is telling him. You that is here that you need something. May the Lord give you what you want. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, thank you because you did it again. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Let us share the grace of the Lord. Maranatha, Jesus is coming soon. Shalom, shalom, and the Lord bless you all.